Welcome to Auction Version 4, the latest event management software tool from Auction Systems. In this final Data Entry Names tutorial, I will show you the remaining optional panels. The remaining optional panels show information that is associated with the specific household or company in this name record. These optional panels are winning bids, item donations, cash and in-kind donations, expenses, and associated contacts. With the exception of associated contacts, which is a data entry name activity, these other data entry activities have their own separate tutorials. In this tutorial, I will simply show you what information can be added or deleted or edited from the panel in a specific household's name entry form. When would you use a name entry panel for data entry and when would you go to the data entry area for that specific task? The answer is that it's really up to you. In general, when you have a lot of similar type data entry to perform, such as entering many item donations made by different donors, you would probably find it more streamlined to enter the items in the task area for items data entry. But if you have one item donation for a specific donor, you can easily go ahead and enter the item donation from the item donation panel in the donor's name entry form. This is the great thing about version 4. The same data entry screens can be accessed from different areas in auction. If you want to work in any of the optional panels in the name entry form, simply click on the appropriate button at the bottom of the form to enable the panel. The first optional panel is winning bids. At your event, the easiest way to enter winning bids is from the Enter Winning Bids activity in the Event Night task on the main home screen. But after your event, you can always go to this panel in a specific bidder's name record to add another winning bid, delete an incorrect winning bid, or edit the winning bid to change the bid amount. The item donation panel in the name entry form shows any auction or retail items that this company or household has donated to your event. In this panel, you can add, delete, or edit any items donated by this specific household or company. The next panel shows the cash or in-kind donations recorded for this company or household, and donations in this list can also be added to, deleted, or edited. The expense panel is used to track expenses incurred by your organization that are attributed to the household or company in this name record. If this name record is for a volunteer in your organization who submits an expense receipt to you for something they paid for, whether they expect to be reimbursed or not, you would click the Add Expense as Submitter. If this name record is for a vendor that supplied something for your event that your organization must pay for, you would click Add Expense as Vendor. You can also delete an expense or edit an expense in this panel. The last panel in the Data Entry Names form is for Associated Contacts. Associated Contacts is a names function and is generally automatically populated for you. For example, let's say the name entry form we are currently in is for one of your volunteers. We'll call him John Miller. In John Miller's Type Affiliation and Team panel above, he is marked as a volunteer, and for teams, he is part of the volunteer contact team. John solicited a donation from a company called ABC Graphics, owned by Thomas and Christine Smith. When you entered ABC Graphics and the Smiths as a donor in its own name record, you selected John Miller as the volunteer contact in ABC Graphics Volunteer Contact Panel. When you did that, John Miller's own name entry form here was automatically updated to show that ABC Graphics is a company he contacted. It's an associated contact of John Miller's. Notice you can add another associated contact, remove a contact, or edit an associated contact in this form. This concludes our data entry series for data entry names. Thank you for joining us.